Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Sleek back with another video. Today, we're going for the Social Distancing Dark Ops Challenge, and I'm going to be showing you how I'm doing it. So if you think you can do it, or if you need help doing it, hopefully this strategy can help you out. So we're going to be using the Howard 77. Um, we're going to be using the Duck Bill Choke for a wider pellet spread, so we can kill the zombies easier. We're also going to be using the 25-inch Task Force Barrel for more damage. We're going to be using the Ember Sighting Point for hip fire accuracy, increased salvage drop as well. That increased salvage drop is key, and I'll explain why here in a second. We're also going to be using the 8-round tube for magazine, and we're also going to be using the Marathon Stock for the sprint move speed. Now, the Ember Sighting Point for increased salvage drop is very useful because the strategy we are using is we are going to stay in the spawn area of Die Machina. Now, when we stay in the spawn area, that purple door right there on the left and that green door on the right, we are going to leave those closed. We're going to stay in the spawn area for the entire time, and we are going to let all the zombies come inside the map. Now, when they come inside the map, we're going to kill them, and we have that attachment for increased salvage drop. Now, if you kill them outside of the map, you're not going to get the salvage. Killing them inside the map will give you the salvage for you to collect. Now, we're going to be saving up to 250 salvage so we can afford a chopper gunner. Now, once you get the chopper gunner, you're going to save the chopper gunner until round 15 when a boss spawns. That boss is going to spawn and you're going to use the chopper gunner and you're going to be invincible um, while in the chopper gunner. So you're going to be able to kill the boss and most of the zombies on round 15. Um, you're also going to have enough regular salvage for monkey bombs if you feel um, or you can buy two decoys for every one monkey and um, you can use decoys on the lower rounds if you feel like you need them just to make things a little bit easier for you but for the first 13 rounds, 14 rounds, we're just running around spawn, killing zombies, taking our time, trying not to get hit, making sure we um, keep our distance and we don't get hit because the challenge will be over. So that's what we're doing here. The um, Also the M16 is a very good weapon for this as well. You can um, kill them from a from a far distance and if you have the 54 round speed mag you spawn in with 54 rounds and then also an extra like four or five hundred and then every gun you spawn in with is only 250 points to refill your ammo um, since we're going to be staying in the spawn area there's nothing to use your points on anyway so if you were to use that and just spam the M16 that's a good way to do this as well I'm using the Howard though because it's a one shot all the way through basically. Um, there's also a chance for the boss zombie to spawn on 18 as well as 15. Um, I believe they have implemented into the game where after a boss round you get a big amount of salvage, like a big chunk of salvage and that should allow you to buy a second chopper gunner now I only found this out today as I'm recording this so I haven't done too much research so I don't know if everyone gets it after a boss round or if you what me and my friend have thought is once you get all of your aether crystals a way that they kinda reward you is by giving you extra salvage to upgrade your guns and whatnot in the game but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that so um, I'm going to be using the double chopper gunner strategy because I believe I have enough I have done done this challenge about five or six times and um, the last time I did this I pretty sure I had enough for a chopper gunner but I ended up buying a war machine because I didn't know if everyone would have it but 
I'm going to go ahead and just do the chopper gunner for myself and get the challenge and show you guys the main strategy. Because um, if you guys can train and avoid zombies up until round 15, you should be pretty good. Um, and once we get to round 18, we're just going to go turn on the power. Round 19 is going to be a dog round, and we're going to sit on top of penthouse. And then we're going to be, that's basically it. We're going to have a dog round, and then all you got to do is get to round 20. You don't even have to complete round 20. So, this challenge doesn't seem entirely impossible. You just have to be patient and take your time. Can't get too greedy. Um, also, a tip is you don't want to pick up any stun grenades because if you accidentally hit a stun, hit yourself with a stun, or if the stun bounces off a zombie and hits you, then um, it will do one damage to you and you will have to restart the challenge. So, avoid those at all costs and um, only by decoys or monkeys, like I was mentioning earlier. So, we're on round six here. Um, I was going to make a, um, a video that was kind of cut up and would only highlight certain aspects of the video, but I, me personally, when I watch a tutorial, I like to see how people do everything and, um, make sure I'm not missing anything myself, but just a quick overcap is you want to stay in spawn until around 14, you want to buy a chopper gunner, as soon as the boss spawns, you can use your ring of fire if you want to kill the boss quicker and kill more zombies. But you're going to call in the chopper gunner and then save up your salvage again for another chopper gunner. Or you can buy a war machine. Just make sure when you use the war machine you stay really far back because I did it one time and I was probably from here to the group of zombies and I shot it and I actu actually took damage from that far away so just make sure you are a really good distance away from zombies um, when when doing it so yeah but we're just taking our time here killing zombies and as you can see that wider pellet spread just killed like four zombies at once right there it's actually kinda crazy um, but don't get too worried if you're on round 7 and you only have 30 of this rare salvage down here. I've done this, um, like I said, about 5 or 6 times. And I don't think I've had one time where I haven't had enough for a chopper gunner. I will say that it gets pretty close. You're like 1 or 2 extra. But I do believe that every time I've had enough. So nothing to be too worried about I just got two zombie kills and one right there that was pretty cool so I also do not get those nukes myself because I would rather have more zombie kills and make sure I get enough um, rare salvage to buy the chopper gunner because if you get that, I do not believe that um, salvage drops come out of zombies whenever you get the nuke. So, if you're just trying to do this as fast as possible and are lucky enough, or if you have a good amount of salvage already, like if you get to round 11 or 12 and you have enough salvage and you just want to get the nuke to um, end the round, go ahead. But I don't have enough saved up yet and it's still a pretty early round, so nothing to be too worried about if you guys have any questions or find this useful or are having a friend that is struggling be sure to share this video with them um, drop a like if this helped you out and uh, be sure to subscribe it would be really appreciated so there's a salvage if you see a salvage on the floor try not to just absolutely just straight run for it because that might end up getting you killed you also want to make sure that you're not letting them despawn, though, at the same time. So, okay, that was close. Almost got trapped in a corner. But we're good. 
Um, also, I did notice with the shotgun that it sometimes will create crawlers just like that. So you want to be careful with this water swamp pit specifically. Um, if you create a crawler, sometimes they can be completely invisible unless you just happen to hover over it and see their name. But if you don't hover over it, then their name their nameplate won't show at all and I actually got um, got hit one time because of that so just wanna be wary of that and make sure you're always aiming for the upper body because if you're aiming for the upper body also oh that was a complete fail didn't mean to do that if you're aiming for the upper body then you're gonna get more damage and potential for one shot I believe that an upper body shot will one shot until round like 16 maybe but I'm shooting them in the waistline and they're just not standing a chance on round 9 so I can't imagine what a headshot does later on or in a, just in a couple rounds I mean always want to make sure you're watching your back as well don't get stuck on a tree or anything there's a salvage for me there's another salvage over here actually running kinda low this round on salvage but we'll get more zombies spawn in here soon and we'll we'll get some more so I don't think there's anything to worry about to be honest just always want to double check run around make sure we're not missing anything though tomahawks are a good thing to pick up off the ground too because they don't explode so you can't take damage from them <coughs> so we're on round 10 here almost to a almost to a boss round here Gotta be careful here with these guys. But yeah, like I said, if you guys ever have if you guys have any questions or if you're having troubles doing this yourself, just feel free to leave a comment. I will try and uh answer them for you guys. That was super close. I actually got kinda scared that I was gonna get hit. But um but yeah, as long as you guys are doing what I am, you guys shouldn't have too much of a problem. So we're on round 11 here. Just still kind of chilling. Making sure we're keeping our distance. Because we're social distancing you know that's the challenge we're going for but uh yeah we're at 200 salvage now we got we got quite a bit that round so we've got three more rounds to get 50 salvage here so but some of these zombies I would not even be close to killing if it wasn't for this laser sight some of them are quick little boys on these rounds here oh no 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 oh wow that was close that's how you do it right there though ladies and gents and you also get kills for it so any salvage? No blue salvage, but we're all good. Round 12. A little max ammo action there. I'm actually going to buy my decoys now. Because I thought I had a decoy. They throw so much quicker. Um, that's what I meant to buy the first time. I don't know why I bought a monkey but the reason I took it was because it was more expensive so I 
I kind of spread my zombies out kind of far right there. Didn't mean to. Let's see, we're also getting to the round where there's a good amount of zombies and we want to, uh, we want to be able to scrunch them all up like that. Apologies for the background noise, but there we go. We're on round 13. We got one more round to go, and uh, well, two more rounds, I guess. This round and the next one, but. As you can see, we're on 230 rare salvage, and we still got two whole rounds of zombies to go, so I think we're going to have plenty. So I'm going to focus on just running around this time. I don't want to get accidentally hit by a zombie that I'm not looking at. I'd rather get this challenge done and out for you guys, because I actually didn't have any intentions of getting this challenge until one of my friends pointed it out to me and uh, said that he had gotten it and I was like well that can't be too difficult so I tried it a couple times and I was like well this is a little bit challenging so maybe I can help some other people out so Reverse here, and we're gonna throw that guy down there. Oh goodness, that was closer than I thought. So I was almost gonna get that just to speed it up for you guys, but since I don't have my rare salvage yet, I'm not going to. I still only have 230. Um, I, uh, yeah. So here's the two blue salvage. So we got our chopper gunner. Now we just got to survive round 14 and we'll be on the, uh, the home stretch. So once you get your 250 salvage, you want to keep saving it though, because once you buy your chopper gunner, you're going to um, you're going to keep saving it because after the boss round, you should get some more if they implemented that into the game. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure if um, it is a um, only for people who have maxed aether crystals. I'm not sure, but I think it's for everybody. I don't see why they would only do it for people with Aether Crystals, but we're just training zombies up here. They seem faster this time than they were the last game I played. I don't know what's going on with them, <coughs> but we're still good. But see round 14 from that distance and I still just one shot that guy so this shotgun is definitely one of the ways to go. I would love to get an insta kill or a nuke right now. Speed this up for you guys. That guy didn't one shot though. Yeah, that this is if you guys do this strategy here where you're running in circles you definitely want to be careful you don't make a crawler you want to try and aim for the heads because aiming up is going to be able to spread your bullets out more anyway get more zombies damaged with your bullets what are you doing mister why are you still spawning in a little, a little late to the party there mister oh you too huh but 
this is also one of the least RNG um, strategies there is in the game so um, as you can see we've got 80 salvage built back up already um, the boss usually spawns over here sometimes over there in that window but I'm kinda just keeping my distance that way whenever he does spawn he can't uh, hit us so he's over there I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in my ring of fire now and I'm gonna call in the chopper gunner um, that way you don't take any damage and then you do more damage in the chopper gunner so we just need to find him and there he is and then now you just want to focus on some zombies get as many of those kills as you can while you're still in the ring of fire make sure you're getting that extra damage on the boss so they're split and killed now now you're just like I said wanting to get as many of those extra zombie free kills as you can so so now we're basically through the round and you don't want to do what I did the first time of trying to pick up that key card um, I tried to pick up that key card just to be cool and get it collected even though I didn't need it and it got me hit and I went down so um, we'll keep an eye on my salvage I've got 110 right now and then um, I think this is the last zombie so 110 and 260 so I'm gonna go ahead and buy another chopper gunner and have that ready for round 18 for when the next boss the next boss possibly spawns um, so yeah but we're still just uh, trying to run around and train zombies and not get hit is all that we're doing here and uh, try not to get as close of a call as I just had right there that's not what you want to do so <clears throat> but I mean one shot kill on zombies still on round 16 with this shotgun I mean it's just It is just that good. And then if you can get them in this train here and just turn around and get one or two shots on them, only a few of them are going to spawn at a time from now on. And then you can look and train them from there. But So I got that nuke because I had already had enough rare salvage over here for another chopper gunner on the next round. And it's round 16, so I'm trying to uh, speed it up for you guys like I was saying. So, we got more zombies spawning in here. Just trying not to get distracted. Keeping, keeping an eye out. I've only got these two guys left. But as you can see, that duck build choke with the extra spread allowed me to kill those two guys with no problem. But my hands are actually sweating, getting a little nervous. I have to wipe them off. <clears throat> so get a couple easy kills out of the map why not not that it'll make a huge difference in our final total of zombies here but that was another close call that could have been prevented so Oh my goodness. I heard that zombie behind me spawning in the map and I thought it was Dunzoed. Oh wow, that's a strong guy. So it's all about patience, not trying to go too fast and get too many kills at once because you try and focus too many kills at once, you're done. Another strat you could do is get Molotovs and throw them right there in that little pathway as you walk through because Molotovs would be pretty, 
pretty good. I just thought about that, but that's fire damage. You don't want to risk anything there with yourself, so. Round 18, we might have a boss spawning this round, but we got our chopper gunner, we got our ring of fire, and uh, our decoys, so. Um, last time, the boss didn't spawn until a good amount through the map, so I might not even pop my ring of fire because um, I'll be too distracted on getting in the chopper and getting the um, megaton killed, but um, yeah, we'll just have to see where he spawns or if he spawns rather. But I will tell you, this fog on the map could go away at any moment, and I wouldn't have any problems with it. But, I mean, I've got most of the zombies spawned in right here, so if that boss does spawn, then I can get all these zombies killed and the boss so doesn't actually look like he's gonna be spawning in though so that's good news for me um, I'm still gonna hold on to my chopper gunner just in case and I will still keep uh, I will still show you guys the strategy in case you do have a boss on this round and you want to do the dog round, I will show you how to do that because I think that will be the easiest way instead of having to deal with another full round of zombies. I'd rather have the dog round myself anyway, so. Still got some trickle zombies spawning in here. So, we're running, running, and running, running, and running, running. So, like I said, once you get to round 18, you're going to want to keep one zombie. So, we're going to throw a decoy there for all of them. Oh, that did not last very long at all. Oh my gosh. That zombie almost hit me. I don't know how I'm going to get this one kill here. Just like that. So now, going to go in here and go here. And then I was going to play it safe, but he was taking too long. So now you don't have to step away from these explosions, but um, I don't believe they do damage. But I'm running away just because I made it to round 18 and I don't want to risk it so we're just gonna come down here and run by our door I don't think you take damage from jumping but just wanted to be sure taking all the steps just in case. So we want to turn the power on. Oh gosh, there's the zombie.
Now, I'm not sure if you have to go through the anomaly, but I'm going to and make the pack-a-punch machine and then um, um, and then we'll kill the zombie and go from there. So we're going to go to the Aether Tunnel and we're going to go down. Whoa, what is that? Jellyfish. We're going to go in the Aether Tunnel here. Going to grab our part. We're going to make our pack-a-punch, and then we're going to start running back up towards the spawn. And we're going to go up top on, to on top of uh, Knock here. Before I do that, make sure you get ammo. <clears throat> so then we're going to come over here in this corner and we're going to sit. So now dogs should spawn. And then should be all we have to do. Yep, dogs are spawning in here. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That should be social distancing all done. There we go. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop them in the comment section. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thanks for watching.